Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Lego Lee 3 Tonight here, and today we have another Summer 2015 box review. This is Skull Warrior. This set retails for about $15. It's 102 pieces, and here's a front like of your box. There is the back of the box, and included with the set is one structure, about 30 pages of building. And here is the Skull Warrior himself. But before we take a close look at the figure, let's take a close look at the cartoon mask of ice included with this set. This mask piece is pretty awesome to get with this set. And I know it's supposed to be corrupted, but it actually looks kind of awesome on the actual Kapaka figure. He already had tons of the gold and already had tons of the trenches in blue. So it really blends in with his color scheme. It looks really good, even though it's supposed to be corrupted. And speaking of Kopaka, here is a quick size comparison between Skull Warrior and Kopaka himself. Now this guy uses the exact same feet that the Skull Slash does but Lego added those claw pieces right there to make it balance a little bit more and I love this look it's creepy and it really looks awesome but what doesn't look awesome is the rest of his legs here you guys know how much I hate asymmetricality and when it's on the legs it's even worse and this just looks ridiculous Ridiculous. I hate having this giant arm piece down here. And there's not even one on the other side. Even the bone pieces are actually flipped around. It's just so hideous. I hate looking at it and it bothers me. And the arms are also asymmetrical. The arm right here features just the bone piece and the other one has an armor piece right there. It's just, why Lego, why? But the weapon he's holding makes up for it just a little bit. This is an awesome looking ice bow right here. And of course, if you twist on this gear piece right here, it will launch these studs out, which is a very cool play feature. But that's actually not it for the weapons. You can see on his back here, he has this spear piece. When you can actually swap that spear piece out for the bow, put this spear in his right arm, so he has a completely different weapon. There's actually a gearbox with this set, so he has a gear function with that right arm. So having two weapons with two different action features in the set is really awesome. He does feature the new rib cage piece and trances in light blue. That might be my favorite color I've seen that piece in so far. And actually his chest print right there looks pretty cool and it's not all that asymmetrical, which is kind of different for this figure. Unfortunately, however, the ball joints are exposed behind the chest piece right there. And then his mask. I gotta say, I absolutely love the look of this mask piece. It is threatening, it is creepy, it's also skull-like. It just looks so good right here. Now for articulation, when he has the bow in hand, the articulation is obviously limited some, but there's actually some pivoting pieces right here using the loose pivot pieces right there. So it actually moves around pretty good even with the bow in hand. But when you take the bow off, it reveals the awesome articulation of this figure. The head moves, the shoulder moves right here. You can bend the elbows, the wrists. You can also move the uh, thighs right there. The knees can bend. And of course, these, the feet can bend as well, and the toes can actually move too, so lots of articulation for this figure. This guy's name is Skull Warrior, and by giving him interchangeable weapons, LEGO really made this guy actually feel like a warrior. I love the play value for this set. He has some fantastic looking pieces. His color scheme is really good, but you guys all know what I hate about this set. Now, I'm sure some of you guys are going to comment, Lee, you don't get it. He's supposed to be asymmetrical. Yes, okay, I do get that. LEGO designed this figure very purposely to be asymmetrical. I just hate asymmetricality and it looks terrible in my opinion. No, I don't hate this figure. There's a lot going for it. It's just all the asymmetricalness made this my least favorite of this new way, which I'm kind of surprised I'm saying because I thought he looked pretty cool from the preliminary images, but actually having the figure in hand, he doesn't look all that great. I'm going to give Skull Warrior here a 6.7 out of 10. Those are just my thoughts. I'd love to hear yours in the comment section down below. And a quick question before I go. I am considering revamping this figure, modifying the figure. Would you like to see a video of my modifications? Please tell me also in the comment section down below. And of course, don't forget to like this video. For the video, share it with all of your friends. Like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitter, and follow me on Instagram. Please subscribe to this channel, and I hope to see you guys next time on Barnacle Set Reviews. I'll see you guys later. Bye.